Today, we're going to talk about uh, accessible practice that has really helped both of us, which is how to create a personal mission statement and something you can do along with us today. And so let's start out and just hear from Andy. What has what do mission statements mean to you? Uh, mission statements is, uh, to me, an understanding of yourself and what you bring to the world um, and uh, what is it is that you truly want uh, and how you give it to others. And then mission, to me, evolves into purpose as well. I think mission is a cornerstone and foundational piece in self-healing and how to keep walking in the world. I, my mission, I go over it every day. I repeat it every day. I help it. It helps me to set my intention for the day. It helps me to understand how I want to bring my energy to this world in the day. It also reminds me to be present with all those I come across. Uh, my mission statement is I nurture myself and others by meeting them where they are, inspired by the beauty and all. Um, and what that means to me on a daily basis is I come out to the world with love, uh, compassion, um, looking for connection, uh, accepting connection to others and meeting them where they are. Not about where I am, but where they are. And then um, enjoying the journey with them. Inspired by the beauty and all is uh, everybody's beautiful. And it, it's inspiring to be a part of all of that. So mission is so important for my intention for the day, my intention for my life and how I come and meet others. That that's, brings some clarity around it. I think clarifying between the mission, our mission in the world and our mission statement is this focalized, yes. focused expression of why we're here and what we're doing each day. How do we distill yes. that? For me, that's what's essential yes. about this process is how do we distill what our missions are, what, how we want to serve. For me, my mission is I expand my listening and express what's inside me to create joy, wisdom, and healing. So I can come back mm -hmm. to that personal mission in many different moments of my day, of my life, and use it as a sort of way to measure how am I doing? How am I, what's more of a compass, not a measuring stick for me. It's a compass of what direction mm -hmm. am I putting mm -hmm. in? my work and yes. am i really honoring yes. that mission that i'm here to do yes. without my mission statement i would be trying to do too many things for too many people and not doing it as well that would be my uh, I love that. story about myself and so i think this mission statement idea is what allows me to really tend that garden with clarity with purpose and focus and so it's been very valuable to me and Today, we're going to guide you. I saw you, you lead this, and I like the way you did it, the way you guided a mission statement creation process. So I am going to turn it over to you now to take people through that, take our listeners through how to make their own personal mission statement, and I'm going to follow along too and do it. Getting into this, I just want to set the intention. Um, I will be asking a question, um, two questions. Okay. So I would invite you to have a piece of paper in front of you, a journal. Um, so you're going to have that with you. Um, one thing on this uh, is a mission statement. Take off your limits. Take off judgments. Uh, take off any limiting factors and just allow yourself to hear what comes through when these questions come up. Um, a mission statement is also a way that, especially in this work, if you meet another person on the work and you share your mission statements, you can also understand a little bit more about each other. The other thing that I would like you to come into this is a beginner's mindset. Um, open to whatever comes through. Open to this is just a beginning mission statement. Or if you already have a mission statement, maybe this will help clear up what you have and you'll be able to do a little bit more tweaking to it. But either way, the mission statement is something that progresses. Um, the better we know ourselves, the better that we get in touch with ourselves and hear ourselves, the more it comes. Um, so what we're going to do is I just invite you to relax and take a deep breath. I want you to take another deep breath and start bringing your consciousness into your body and out of your mind. Allow your mind to just let go. 
Take another deep breath into your body. I want you to ask yourself, what do I want most? What do I want most? It could be a feeling. Just let it come. Your body will tell you. Now come back to the room. Write what do I want most on that top of the paper and just start writing some of the things that you that came through for you. Love, peace, connection, fun joy, anything, whatever comes up, just start flowing. So now we're going to write down another question. So go down a little bit on the paper. And write this question. How do I give it to others? What I want most, how do I give it to others? Now thinking about that, go ahead, take a breath. And just allow whatever comes up. How do I give it to others? Let it flow. Okay. So gently come back to the room. Start writing down what you got to write down. Now I'm going to talk you through a very beginning of this. Okay. Um, the format is I co-create, because we all do it together, I co-create a blank world. So the blank world is really what you want most. So I co-create a loving world or loving community, loving family. I create a a uh, loving tribe, um, a healed tribe, a enlightened culture, however that looks like, what you want most. And then by... And then just write down three actions by, and those are from the, how do I give it to others? By connection, playfulness, um, active listening, unconditional love. It can be so many different things, Um, but what is right for you? Once you got that together, it could be something like I create, I co-create, a peaceful, loving world by by connecting, listening, and holding space for others. It could be something that simple. If it comes out more poetic, right? Like I am, I I co-create a loving world uh, through expression of self flowing like the wind through, letting the spirit flow through me. And once you have your statement or your feeling of what your statement is, start repeating it back to yourself. See what resonates. Mm 